Yo, what up everyone? Welcome back to another Anime Kingdom review. As you can see by the title below, this is on episode 5 of Boku no Hero Academia. And I gotta say, another great episode to be honest. I was looking up the forums too and other people's videos on the reactions of how well this, you know, the manga has been adapted to the, you know, how well the anime has been adapted from the manga. And people have been just saying it's pretty much perfect. It's been really well done. And that's honestly been getting me to think... That I kind of want to read the manga now, to be honest. Usually, I read the manga if for several reasons. I usually like to watch the anime first and then read the manga. Usually, because if I, you know, there's a second season and I can't wait already, I'll end up just reading the manga just to see what happens after. Or if there's not even going to be a second season after, I want to see just how it continues anyway. Because I usually like reading manga, but you know, sometimes I just love the how you know the animation of it instead of just reading how the manga is. Not saying the manga is bad, but that's what I mean. I like the anime. I usually like watching animes better, just because it's like I like to read books, but I usually like to watch the movies kind of thing. But usually the books are better, so it's usually the it depends on how well it's adapted. And most of the time, it's not adapted as well. But this one, people have been saying that the manga is being really, you know, the anime is being re adapted really well in comparison to the manga. So I might honestly go give it a try. Um, if you guys think I should, then feel free to comment below. But yeah, um, other than that, let's get on to how I felt about this episode. Cause so this episode is pretty dang good, dude. Um, I love the comparison, the whole um, interactions between All Might and Izuku. Like seriously, he really does care about Izuku. Like seeing him, like worry about him throughout this episode. Seeing the whole torch kind of thing going on. Like how um, right now his torch is really weak right now, and it's gonna go through a lot of things like wind and rain and he's gonna to have to go through all these crazy obstacles you know it's kind of a metaphor for that kind of stuff and sooner or later his flame is going to extinguish and you know he'll be able to move on with izuku being able to be his flames will be strong so it's kind of a i don't know i'm not gonna say he might die in the future but it definitely shows that it's possible because what he said and we already know that he is pretty sickly so we don't really know how this transfer of powers goes no one's really done it before they said um so honestly it's possible that when he fully you know gives his power away to izuku he, he he might honestly die either that or he'll just he means by extinguishing his flame it means he's no longer going to be a hero because he's no longer going to have a power so there's multiple different ways that it can go with it I, i'm not too sure how it is in the manga no spoilers though please but yeah it's pretty interesting to see that like all that kind of stuff in the beginning and of course at the end seeing him getting all worried like hiding and watching seeing how Izuku's going to do worrying if he's going to be able to do it and then even at the end I love seeing his 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 reaction to when Izuku is able to you know he ends up using that part was awesome by the way with the soundtrack going off I was just so hyped I was like what's he going to do what's he going to do just uses his finger only his finger only to fly at the very end smash and able to throw the ball awesome like super far and he's like Tells Aizawa, which that guy's power, the teacher, super OP. He could just take away someone's power, erase their powers. Holy crap, that's kind of cheat, to be honest. He could pretty much beat anyone's quirk. Like, literally. Of course, he tries to, he's not as well known as like someone like All Might. Because he likes to kind of be on the down low kind of thing. And that's why him and All Might's not kind of, you know, they don't like each other really. And that's kind of why he's being the way he is too. Izuku so it's cool to see how at first he's like <laughs> zero potential there's nothing he's gonna be able to do and after he does that and he and then Izuku's like haha I could still move he's like <laughs> this kid cuz I'd be like that too like this kid man he just he just showed me up like literally Izuku I did not expect him to do that I was wondering like what is he gonna do is I thought he was just gonna be able to control his power all of a sudden but no he's not really able to fully control it but he was able to control it in the way that he only used his finger and only messed up his finger and he still was able to move it after which is probably pretty damn painful but you, you can see kind of he was like Ugh. but you just see i love seeing the growth and just how see how strong izuku's like passion and drive is compared to everyone else he literally it's one of those stories you know that we always see cliche kind of thing where our hero starts off you know not as strong and then he strives he works so hard that he gets even stronger than the people with these you know, natural talent, for example, um, it's probably going to go in the way of somewhere how Kotsky is probably not going to be, he's going to see him get even stronger than him 
and they're probably you know they're rivals and everything like that and I, I can't wait to see the day if there will be the day that he finally acknowledges Izuku probably not going to be for quite a while if there is ever going to be a time but um yeah it was also cool you know to see um Izuku finally stand up to Katsuki as well in that flashback kind of thing that like, recently happened before because of course he's pissed off that Izuku got to the school but it's just it's just awesome. It's also awesome this episode was awesome to see. I said awesome like three, four times already. But it's also awesome to see like literally all like more people's powers. We see like some frog girl or or something. We see some g laser beam boy. I love the way he like thought of using his laser beam to propel him. Right when he's like, there's different ways you can use your quirks to do this, you know? And I'll, when he was facing backwards, like, oh my gosh, he's gonna blast himself. Of course we learned that he can't really blast all the way. Um, we saw some weird guy with like doo -doo 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 going back and forth. I love that sidestep kind of thing. It kind of reminded me of One Punch Man, Saitama kind of thing, doing going back and forth real fast. Um, oh my gosh, that part with um, Izuku and um, Ochako was so cute. Oh man, she's the best girl. She's like, <laughs> I honestly definitely want to see more interaction between her and Izuku. Izuku like literally blushing red, like oh, oh. she's just all talking and everything. He's like, ah. Uh. Oh yeah, um, and just like I talked to her pretty much, like yeah, uh, mm hmm, easy. <laughs> Not really good with the ladies, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, it's also it's just cool to see everyone's different powers. All the comedy in this episode was also pretty funny. Seeing the interactions between everyone, and oh my gosh, I can't wait for the next episode to see what Kotsky says when he sees you know, because at the end they were all like. <gasps> When when Izuku was able to use his power, dude, now he's he thought he was just a worthless, you know, person with no quirk. He didn't know what happened at the initiation, but now he knows a little bit of what happened there. Um, I wonder if everyone still knows about his weakness in a way. Everyone saw it, well, almost everyone saw it. So I wonder if they're going to be look at his finger like, oh, so he still can't really use his power. If anyone's going to comment on that as well, because no one commented on it after. They literally just like, oh, okay, whatever, he... Yeah, except Aizawa, he saw it and he tried to make it so he would be kicked off. Of course, Izuku showed him up, man. But yeah, it was cool how at the end, All Might was like, You're so cool! I would be like that too. Like, dude, Izuku's the man. He's awesome. But yeah, overall, awesome episode. Had a lot of um, great drama and seriousness. And like during the, you know, All Might with um, Izuku, then we got a whole bunch of comedy in the episode as usual. And just, it was awesome to see everyone's powers and see um, Izuku triumph over another obstacle. How many more obstacles will we have to go through? Probably a lot, but I cannot wait to see his growth throughout the, the whole season. Because seriously, so far, it's it's been pretty awesome. I am loving this anime a lot. And I, like I said, I might go end up reading the manga as well because it's so awesome, to be honest. But yeah, it's all I got to say about the episode, guys. Honestly, another awesome episode so far. Every episode has definitely like been definitely been a hit for me. I've definitely enjoyed every single one. But um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this um, anime kingdom review. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If there's anything else you want to talk about, comment below as well. And until next time, guys, see ya.